Hello once again, my friends. I am Marksman, and today I'm going to be playing some L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. All right. Now, um, so last time, I believe we were talking to Mr. Delgado, who is a man, <coughs> very, uh, very pompous young man, elderly gentleman man thing, person. He's very angry at me, and the point is... Uh, I guess we're going to go investigate his his house home embassy house home embassy house home embassy So is there is this a cutscene? Is this a cutscene? I don't know. Okay. No, it's not a cutscene Oh, so Gabriel Shut up. Okay, the Gabriel man is Hello Hello. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Sorry. Jeez, I just wanted to say hi. You seem like nice people. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, we have to go find Mr. Gabriel, man, who is apparently, uh, very ang- Wait, was there, like, a guide? There's probably, like, a guide. There's always, like, a guide. Is there no guide? There has to be- No! Yo no sé pas! What? Where do you see a number three marked on that door? Oh, it has to be number three. Well, ding dong ditch. Well, knock knock ditch. It doesn't quite flow so well. <coughs> Hello? Yes? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Check out the surrounds. Wow, he is one high-class man because he can cut off along, the, the back ends of words. Can I open this door? Can I not? All right. So this is just not a door, apparently. Right. So how's it gonna be when you hmm. go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What is this? What can I look at? Holy Mary. Optimistic Cole. Not all of oh, oh that's what he said it is. Okay, well I mean like whatever man. I'm just trying to look at the crime scene. I mean another, you know what I mean. Is there anything here? What is this? What is this? It's on the floor. Not sure this means much. Well, I mean I can't read it if you're gonna like throw it all the dang place. Whatever man. What about this? Nope, not it. No, no. Is he in this closet? No. S stop looking at the notepad. I don't care about the dang notepad. The notepad's stupid. What about in the fridge? Is there anything in the fridge? Clues that I can eat? Wow, he is quite the smoker. Serving breakfast for two, Anna. You should have cleared up. Unless he ran out the back. Hmm. Did he run out the back when he heard us? That might be a thing, because I mean, it does seem like he rushed out. He did just kind of drop everything and maybe, maybe, perhaps. Hello, who are you? Um, maybe he's hiding in here. Mr. Valdez! Oh, 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 oh! He is, is the wheels. I have found the wheels. Filer. I doubt it. Doubt it. Me too. Hammer. Mm, I mean, you could use it to hit someone in the head if this were a murder case. That might be viable, kind of. A little bit, at least. Are you here? No? Okay. There's nothing there, guys. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. There's something over here? A license plate! Hmm? Doesn't look like 
Okay, well, I mean, it looks like a license plate. I wouldn't say it doesn't look like anything. Is this the... Oh! Uh, 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 this is the, the license plate that I was looking for. Hey, crowbar! Is this a crowbar? Circumstantial. Circumstantial. I mean, I think your whole life is cir Stop it! Stop looking at these things, especially when it has a dramatic pan like that. It makes me feel like I have to find another clue pertaining to it. Maybe there's someone right here? Maybe it's someone else in the apartment comp comp apartment complex, but perhaps not. We, the world may never know, though I might. I'll have to figure it out. That's why I'm a detective. Detective! Rawr! All right, I guess we talked to Mrs. Lady, man. Mrs. Lady person. Now, let me talk to this lady first, okay? You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Except for... Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Well, I mean... I guess, isn't that like a complete admission of guilt? I don't know if that's a lie, truth, or doubt, but I guess I'll... Truth? Is honor well, I was right. Sick! Solid! Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? Oh, that is such a lie. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, Do you want your that's, baby to be born in jail? It's false. He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. But I was right. Do I have... Wait. You came to me, officer. You could what, at least What are my listen. clues? What? Valdez's notes. Uh, old Ford... Alleged bribe breakfast plates. Oh, 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 baby, baby. Can I can I do that one over? I can't do that one over. I'm so sad at life right now. Can I can I like redo that? Can I observe you? Okay, I can observe you. But what does that do for me? Can I like re? Whoa. Oh, oh. Can I restart from the most recent checkpoint? Uh. <laughs> Current investigation? Ah, whatever. I understand now, though. License plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Oh, hold on a second. View notebook. Uh. Uh. Um. I mean, the, 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 maybe phone number. <laughs> it, the, the things you gotta do things. No, I guess I have to doubt because I don't have enough evidence. To stop doing that. I'm gonna doubt her. Then tell us where he is. Yes. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on first and second floor. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow. Well, it's a good thing I'm not driving. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. I wonder how far. Well, I mean, well, I mean, we can try and. All right. I mean, I'm no better than any other like police drivers. So I really don't understand like why they're expecting me to. I hope they don't expect me to drive. Good God, please let him drive. You can do it, man. I believe in you. You're probably like 50 times better of a driver than I am. So. I mean, that's just true. Well, him. 
everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Oh. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, Cole, Cole's a nice dude. I don't think he would do that. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to do that. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. That's him. Oh, please don't tell me we have to like follow. Oh no! At least I don't have to. I have to drive. When did I get in the driver's seat? This is garbage. This is such garbage. No, no. Oh my God! Why? Why would you do the things you do? Can I NOS? I don't have any NOS. Oh god! Why are you trying to like run me over? What a jerk! Uh. Okay, stop trying to run into me you piece of garbage! You suck! Okay, get out of my life! I hate you! And everything you are! Oh! Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing him. I'm losing him! I'm losing him, Jimmy! I don't know who Jimmy is, but I'm losing him. Okay. Here we go. Oh! Get out of my way, Burls! I hate your guts! Which is probably like oil or something, because your oil drum cans probably, maybe, a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on! I'm gonna catch you! You can't run! I will run you off of the world you live in! <laughs> Dang it, I missed. Oh no. Uh, uh. Okay, well, hold on. They have no wheel arches, you swinington? Okay. Well, I guess my hood is gone. That's fine. I'm trying to! Don't tell me what to do. You're not as cool as I am. Oh my god! We just drove on a train! I got him. Uh. Oh, snap. I get it. Because it's Rockstar. Oh, snap. We got him. We got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Thanks, Chief. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something. All right, and <laughs> just just do a little shrug and then make a little love, then get down tonight. Am I right? Do a little dance, make a little. Okay, we're done with that. Sick marksman for the win. I'm a detective, guys. I'm a detective. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. Four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. You know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? 
Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Oh, snap! He was all like, clean, and he's like, dude, it's not, it's not dirty, man. And the other guy's like, he was clean, and the other guy's like, it's dirty. That was some textbook confusion, am I right? A marriage made in heaven. That's Raj's cafe. A ra Ray's, Ray's cafe. It looks like Raj's. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That man just got nailed, and not in a good way. Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Okay. I got the jitters again. Will do. I, I'm going to go do that right now, actually. I'm just going to run down the stairs. I've unlocked or downloaded can be accessed cases section. Okay. I might do the downloadable content, depending on how well the series does. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm freaking enjoying it a whole lot. I enjoy this game. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, you drive. I'm gonna go over the case notes. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Run, Forrest, run. Okay. Looks like the DA is gonna press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. That's true. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let him go. How you do that? I'll give him something better. <laughs> oh, we're gonna solve this effing case. That's what. Snap skizzles, dog. Doge. Uh. Okay, we're in Ray's cafe. I thought it was Raj's for sure. I thought that little swoop at the end of the Y was a, like a, just a swooping little tail in the J. I don't know. I'm silly. They both have a nice ring to them. Who's that sketchy lady over there? And that sketchy man at the bar. What does he think he's doing? Bartending or something? Over here. Hello. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? I think it's a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. Twenty-four years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're gonna take a look around. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look around. His hat! Hat. Hello. Hat. Is there anything special? Special? Special hat. It looks kind of like similar to mine, except not as cool. I mean, he didn't say it's not useless, so maybe it, maybe there's something. Can I, maybe there, there's some, I'm just going to give up on the hat, guys. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. That is quite the blood splatter. What's the C? Holy crap. Body travels a good 20 feet. I'm gonna think it's some foul play in, in in hand at hand. I mean, <coughs> honestly, I think he he knew he saw him coming out, and then he accelerated on purpose. That's my suspicion, anyway. And mm. so the driver managed to break before the impact. But did he though? Hmm, interesting. Uh, that's, a, that's a little bit interesting. It's a little bit interesting. Let's go see the body. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Oh, he doesn't look so good. Wow, he has lots of blood like everywhere. Holy butts. Alright, let's see if we can find anything on his person. Coats. He has some money. That's bloody money. It's called blood money, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I accidentally clicked outside of the window. Maybe this? Lester Pattison. Notify next of kin. 
Okay. I will notify the next of kin, probably. That looks like a very old driver's license. What is this? Can I, is there anything else? No. Okay. You can have your wallet back, buddy. Sorry. I just wanted to see it. It looked pretty fancy. Alright. What do you have got in here? California Fire and Life. Uh, Hope Street. What the fuck? Uh, beneficiaries. <gasps> I'm detecting foul play! Mm, veteran care. So he is a veteran at perhaps the fire department? Fire and life insurance. Oh, wait, maybe not. I'm dumb. Uh, recipient application. So he has life insurance of 16,000. That's pretty freaking good. Back in the day, that's like 2 billion, pretty much. I don't think that's true. But maybe we should investigate his face a little bit. What's that? There's nothing special. Okay, well, sorry. Maybe his arm? His other arm? Anything? N nothing. Well, okay. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once he's done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? <coughs> Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Huh, okay. Well, hood ornament is a good start. That's a nice little thing there. It's a nice little thing. Hello, lady. We're gonna talk to you. He's all yours, detective. Thank you. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Katie Phelps. Perry. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Hello. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Hmm. Uh, she looked down into the right. Well, her right. She looked down into the left. So that means she was probably recalling something that's real. But then again, she also looked down to the left. Which means that she might have also been recalling a lie. So I might... I'm gonna give her the, the benefit of the doubt in this case. Solid. I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Well, I kind of assumed what kind that. Of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Why would she lie about that? I think she's telling the truth. And also she said it without any hitches. Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. You know what? That's better than most people. Thank you very much, lady, for not being a piece of garbage. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Mmm, she seemed a little bit sketchy about that one. I'm gonna doubt. Why are you holding out Solid! Oh, I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cop it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimately. Very embarrassing for the man. Hmm. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Thank you. I certainly got away with the dame, Spelts. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to the patrons. You work the rest of the room. I'll take the bartender, you work the rest of the room, okay? I'm Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help? The bartender. Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Dudley Lynch. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Lorna. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Um. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was 
was pretty ugly. Haha! Uh -huh. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Hmm. I can tell he's telling the truth. Solid! Ah! Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Huh. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going Gosh. on? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. I am so good at this, guys. I got my mojo back. Who knows? I just served the drinks. Mm -mm. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. I really appreciate that he didn't say doing good. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. Yes! Get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. Boom! I like watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Love tap. I'm the fan of the love tap. Alright, let's see my objectives, because I don't know where to go right now. Investigate Ray's cafe. Call him the suspect vehicle. Wait, call him the suspect vehicle? Oh! Where's the... Where's the phone thing? Where's the phone? Who was phone? And where was phone? Is the phone here? The phone's not here. It's not a phone booth. That's the thing. Uh, let's investigate the bar. Let's invest... I'm investigating the bar. I'm investigating it, people. I'm investigating it. Okay? Investigating where? Where were they angry at? I mean, where? Whoa! It's like Mario 64 all over again. Hello. Can I go in here? So this is why everybody comes to raise. Hmm. Interesting. I can just go around the room clicking. I don't need to click I for intuition. What's this? Can I see this? What's this? Is there anything in here that I can not use intuition for? Alright, fine. Uh show all clues huh oh they're out there I thought I clicked everywhere out there don't don't tell me that garbage garbage oh shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough okay that's that was the entire clue really are you effing my b-hole right now well, thanks. I could have gone to the alley had you not been a scumbag. Well, I'm probably going to guess that this little thing is much more important than the random bottle. All right. Well, never mind then. Basically, screw me. What about this? Oh, maybe he was drinking out here. All right. Well, whatever. I didn't want to be all smart or anything anyway. All right. That's nothing. Oh, it's over here. Are you freaking butt in my hole? Oh, my God. Um. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I think this might pertain to the case a little bit. Can I... Really? A bloody knife and you're gonna make me try and find that one spot that I have to look for? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Alright, I guess I have to... Figure out what angle perfectly. Oh, I found it. Knife covered in blood. Oh, really? Steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. 
Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea, honestly. And it's like... But the chest wound... But wait, 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 whoa, hold on a second. Why would there be this much blood? My new theory, and this could be wrong because I watch a lot of detective shows and this seems to be slightly more grounded in reality. He got hit here, right here, then he flew back, hit right here, and then he was still alive, I think. Someone stabbed him, probably the wife he was arguing with, and then drug his body to there and then realized, well, crap, he's heavy. I don't know. That's just my theory anyway. All right, let's, what are we going to do? Oh, phone booth. Phone booth. Phone booth. Phone booth. It's like over there. I see it. Excuse me. All these people are vultures, officer. I know. Trust me. I know. Just the way he said that, though. It was hilarious. I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Sick. Thank you. My guess is that William Shelton had nothing really to do with the murder, other than hurting him a lot. Well, maybe, okay, there was maybe, a, like, a lot of hurt, but still, still, you know, you know what I mean. Alright, so let's go to, let's go to Shelton's residence, because that seems like it's pretty interesting. Let's go! Come on, buddy! Come on! You can do it! I believe in you! Ah! Ah! Let's go. Yeah! Woo! We're going on a trip! We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Yeah, we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Yeah, trip, trip, trip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, his hat is like going through the top of the thing. Okay. All right. Never mind then. I guess that's not important. I'm sorry. Well, hey, Mr. Shelton, where do you think you're going? Buddy. The police are after you, my friend. That's the son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh no. Why'd you make me drive? That coward thinks he can run from everything. Uh, what? What inclines you to let me drive? You see what happens when you let me drive? Actually, maybe it's good because I'm destructive around the criminals. Maybe. Other than that, it could be actually very dumb. Boom! Yeah! Take it, William! Sheldon! That makes you think I'm talking about Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory, but I'm not! I'm talking about you, Mr. William Sheldon! And it's spelt differently and pronounced differently. Would you stop moving? You're really starting to piss me off. Come at me, brethren. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit ya. Up. Oh. oh no. Uh. Okay, I made it. I didn't run anyone over yet. Oh, snap, buddy. That's what I thought. Sick. Nailed it. I mean, he just said he was done, but okay. Before. That's it. We're done here. 
DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Hmm. The coroner and the paperwork. The procedure can wait. You should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't think that's the end of the case, guys. I don't know if it is. Friends, I will see you next time. Thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed and you want to see more, so like and subscribe. And keep this, keep this ending to a minimum. Thank you guys, of course, and I will see you next time. As always, stay frosty and stay tuned for the next one.